Hey, welcome to the third video on factoring. This is factoring second degree polynomials. Um, before we get too far into that, let's let's simply distribute these terms through in this uh, in this expression here. So you should notice, just start with your first term, distribute it through both. So we get x squared, x times x, which is x squared, and then you do it to the two, so x times two, which is two x. Inside term now, so three x and then last the 3 times the 2 which is 6 right combine like terms which gives you which are these here right so we get x squared plus 5x plus 6 alright this here is a second degree polynomial alright so when you're given a f problem that looks like this and your hint is the squared over the x, right? When you're given a problem that looks like that, they may say, okay, so they may give you x squared plus 5x plus 6, and they may say, uh, find the factors, or factor completely, or just, they might just say factor. Um, so basically, you want to reverse this process and get back to this, all right? So looking at this, we do realize that x is the combination of x times x, right? So we have x and x, and we're going to start making our incomplete factors here. Uh, our last term, the constant 6, is positive, which means it could either be created by negative 3 times negative 2 or 3 times 2, but it has either negative factors or positive factors. This middle term is the sum of the products, right? And it's a positive, and that really gets rid of this as an option since the po the 5 is positive your uh, factors for 6 must also be positive and we'll say 3 and 2 all right so we know that these are positive here okay the 6 breaks off into 3 and 2 or 6 and 1 and they have to add to 5 3 plus 2 is 5 6 plus 1 is 7 6 plus 1 is not it. So it's 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So let's go ahead and plug those in here. And now our incomplete factors just became complete. And then you could use distributive property once again, starting up there, to, uh, to determine whether or not you're correct. But this is the factored form of x squared plus 5x plus 6. And in a lot of problems, they'll expect you to use that reverse knowledge, that reverse process. Let's do one more on this page. We have x squared minus 7x plus 10. All right, we need to get it into this form here. Okay, this is as factor, so it's the opposite of the distributive property. So you have to get back to where the distributive property was used. All right, so same thing, we're gonna set up, we have our x here, right? So we're gonna set up our incomplete factors, x, and x because those combine to be x squared right now notice with the 10 uh, the positive 10 can be achieved from let's say negative 5 times uh, 2 or a negative 2 is two negatives or two positive factors right and notice the middle term the sum of the outside products like in here on the first problem is negative this time this means that the positive one can't be used so we're gonna actually have minuses this time around all right 10 breaks down into 10 and 1 integer wise or 5 and 2 all right so we have to think which ones and keep in mind it's negative 5 and negative 2 but which ones add to negative 7 so negative 10 minus 1 that's not negative 7 that's negative 11 negative 5 minus 2 well that is negative 7 so you plug them in and this is your factored form of this second degree polynomial to check your right if you're right uh, you distribute distribute through which a little anagram is this so you do uh, x squared you distribute your x through distribute through the negative 2 now now to work on the inside term negative 5 times x negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10 Negative 2x minus 5x is minus 7x, because we have to combine like terms, right? It's not simplified yet. 
And you notice after we distribute back through, we do arrive at our original problem once again. All right, let's keep moving along. Um, notice this is a second degree polynomial, so we'll be using this uh, kind of incomplete factor method, if you want to call it. All right, so notice this is still x times x, so we're going to set up our incomplete factors of x and x like this, right? Now, this last term this time is negative, which is created from a negative and a positive, right? So one term must be negative and one must be positive. So we'll just go ahead and put that right here, all right? Now, we need these last two to multiply to negative four. That could either happen through negative four and one, four and negative one, negative two and two, and that's it. So we know these are the possibilities, and we know we need them to, their sum to be negative three x. Negative three is a fairly large x here, so uh, looking here, which one would you think you should try first? This one, right? Because it has the larger negative value. So we're gonna plug that one in here, and then the other factor would obviously be right here, right? And if you notice, what I did here was I assumed, you know, negative 4x plus x. So since it's a negative 3x, I'm not going to use the larger positive number. And I'm not going to use 2 and 2 because they don't even add to 3. So we're going to use the negative 4 and the plus 1. Um, this is the factored, vari uh, factored uh, problem. Now, get in the habit of always checking your work. So go ahead and plug that through or distribute it through. So first term you're going to multiply each one of these by. So you get x squared plus x and then you're going to do the second term minus 4x and then minus 4 plus 1 or minus 4 times plus 1 is uh, minus 4. Now remember combine like terms. Okay what are the like terms here? This one and this one, the ones containing the x to the first power, right? So if you have m minus 4x plus 1x, if I owe you $4 and I give you 1, then you really have negative 3x. So you have x squared minus 3x minus 4. Well, that's our original problem. So this indeed is the correct solution. All right, this problem here is a little bit more challenging. Go ahead and stop the video and attempt to solve it before I do. All right, well, here we go. You know 2x squared <clears throat> is a factor of 2x and x. Don't get confused because there's a coefficient in front of this x squared. The process is the same. Set up your incomplete factors, 2x and x. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. You could put the x here and the 2x there. It's OK. Now notice this 6 here is negative, which could be only created by the product of a negative and a positive. All right, so we know that one of these is negative and one of these is positive. Now, since these are not the same, this one and this one, these first terms of our incomplete factors aren't the same, we can't just arbitrarily put them in yet. We need more information first, all right? So we have to we have to think we know that these last two digits are going to multiply to negative six. So we could try to try to you know do some trial and error. So let's say let's say it was negative three and positive two. All right. So if if it was negative three, let's say we put the negative three here and the positive two here, then we would actually get negative six x plus two x. That's negative 4x, does not match, <clears throat> all right? So instead of that, which one did I put where? Okay, so the three was there. So instead of that, we're gonna actually try to put the negative three here, and then the positive two here. Those still combine to negative six. The first two terms still combine to two x squared. We just have to find if these inside terms add up to negative x. Well, you'd have 2x plus 2, or 2x times 2, which is 4x, minus <clears throat> 3x. 
which is x. So it's close. It's just we have x now, but we need a negative x. So let's go ahead and try to adjust it a little bit more. Um, let's think about how we need to adjust it. So we need this middle term to add to negative x, and right now we have them adding to x. Maybe we flip the signs of the 3 and the 2. So let's try that. So we'll say plus 3 and minus 2. So 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x, and 3 times x is positive 3x, and those do add to negative x. So sometimes it does take a little while to find your factors. Uh, and the more you practice, the quicker it is for you to visualize what the answer is. But anytime you have a coefficient like this and leading your second degree polynomial, it's going to take, it, it'll probably take a little bit more work. Um, so let's go ahead and just distribute this whole thing through and make sure our answer is correct. So the, we'll distribute the first term first through both terms on the right hand side. So 2x times x. It's 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Now the second term, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. These combine to negative x because you have to combine like terms. Right? So that gives us 2x squared minus x minus 6, which happens to be the same as what we had started with. So this is the factored version. All right, depending on how far you go in math, being able to do these this factoring in your head is extremely important. Even for your just your basic algebra class, it'll save you a lot of time. Practice, you can do it. You can learn how to do this in your head. Um, so go ahead and pause the video and attempt to solve these in your head. Give yourself at least five minutes just your brain will figure it out it'll get it'll create new neural connections just give it a shot alright I'm hoping you pause the video and tried these out and uh, I'm running down on my running low on my limit left here on time so I'm merely going to uh, write the answers for you and if you have any questions or comments post them in the box so the first one you should have got x plus 3 and x plus 1. The second one you should get, let's see, ch -ch -ch -ch, minus 7 and minus 2. Right? The third one you should get plus 2 and plus 1. And the fourth one you should have gotten x minus 2 and x plus 1. Keep in mind it is okay if you have these flipped the other way. So if you have x plus 1 times x minus 2, they're the exact same thing. Because of the rule, AB is equal to BA. So if you have 3 times 4, it's the same thing as 4 times 3. So you could mix these up however you want. But I hope you got these answers, and thanks for watching my video.